Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We do have breaking news for you coming in right now. This is CNN, and uh, they're about to inform you that the FBI is uh, saying in the latest batch of emails of Hillary Clinton, they still find no wrongdoing. So much for Steve Pachesnik's uh, soft coup that's going on. Uh, and I'm going to get into that in just a moment as well in light of the video that my wife, Iana, uh, released earlier today. But first, let's take a look at this uh, CNN report here. All right, we're back here live in Washington. Got to breaking news. I'm Brooke Baldwin. Jake Tapper just sat down next to me, host of the lead, host of State of the Union. And let me just bring you right in. You have a letter in your hands from the director of the FBI in the wake of this reopening of this review of the, the emails regarding Hillary Clinton. Read the letter. Uh, it's sh shocking news. It's uh, from the director of the FBI to uh, all the same Republican chairman uh, of uh, the committees uh, on the House and the Senate about the information that they've been looking at in Anthony Weiner's computer. Right. Um, okay, the headline is, we're sticking with our original assessment from July, the FBI director says. Which, Not criminal. Which is that there no criminal acts took place, uh, although obviously he also said uh, the way that Hillary Clinton and her staff handled the information was extremely careless. But, but the headline is, nothing new here has changed our conclusion. And I'll just read the letter. Yeah, please do. Uh, dear Mr. Uh, Chairman, I write to supplement my October 28, 2016 letter that notified you the FBI would be taking additional investigative steps which, with respect to former Secretary of State Clinton's use of a personal email server. Since my letter, the FBI investigative team has been working around the clock to process and review a large volume of emails from a device obtained in connection with an unrelated criminal investigation. We know that to be the, the investigation into Anthony Weiner. During that process, we reviewed all of the communication that were to or from Hillary Clinton while she was Secretary of State. Based on our review, we have not changed our conclusions that we expressed in July with respect to Secretary Clinton. All right, so Secretary Clinton is basically off the hook, and yet at the same time, we have Steve Pachinik, who is saying that uh, you know, that there is a soft coup going on and that, yes, indeed, she, uh, you know, uh, is going to be going out. Uh, that's what we're getting from, from Steve Pachinik, which is kind of an odd situation if you think about it. Uh, as my wife reported earlier today, and I want to just uh, remind you of something that she said there, uh, she was looking at Steve Pachinik saying that, you know, that uh, as far as what they are doing, that everybody... Uh, all the different uh, uh, people that are inside the different departments of intelligence in America that they are, are, are doing a counter soft coup in order to stop um, that on what the Clintons are doing to put Hillary in power. And as he stated, they had said to Barack Obama that he was to stand down, that they were not going to allow him to put Hillary Clinton into power. Now that's the way he kind of took that, and it kind of was interesting to me that he made that approach, and something that Yana caught that I didn't catch, and that was in Julian Assange's uh, interview with RT, and granted, as people have made comments, they said, well, you know, the interview was done uh, maybe a week or so ago, or whatever the case may be, that it couldn't, it could not be related, but as Yana noted, and I think it was extremely valuable that according to uh, Steve Pachinik here, Steve Pachinik is saying that, you know, that uh, they're doing a soft coup to stop Hillary Clinton from getting into power and that he was working with Assange. They were working with him. Uh, now, I kind of think it's interesting that this also happens to come out, that Steve Pachinik brings this out, when the, uh, the uh, Wi-Fi had been cut for uh, Julian Assange there at the uh, embassy, and he wasn't allowed to go online there. Uh, but nonetheless, as Yana noted, Assange says there's not anybody in the intelligence community behind Donald Trump. He said if there's any community whatsoever, it's the evangelical community and that community alone. He said if you can call it a community. So there clearly was a difference uh, in what we're seeing with uh, Steve Pachinik when he was saying that all the different agencies were working together in this soft counter clue to stop Hillary Clinton from getting into power. Uh, and so, no, you have to remember, Steve Pachinik first released his video a few days ago, and at the same time, no doubt, the soft coup's been going on a heck of a lot longer than just a few days ago. So yes, if Julian Assange was working with Steve Pachinik in this group 
appear in the background, then he would have known to start with that, yes, even if he didn't say it outright, he could have said it in a nonchalant way to where uh, the whole world would know that, you know, that yes, that Trump does have some people on his side and, you know, I can't go into it type thing or whatever the case may be. Here's the man that is the founder of WikiLeaks that releases all these secret information and suddenly he's not going to take up for Donald Trump here when Julia, when Steve Pachinik is. Something's up with this. Something's just not really normal, you might say here. I want to share something with you, though, another video that Steve Pachinik just brought out. And this one is going to get you as well. Watch what he says. About the next five days in our republic. For the most part, many of you have understood that there was a civilian coup by Hillary Clinton and her sycophants regarding the takeover of the American Republic. As we've talked before, there was a counter coup initiated by those of us in the intelligence community, in the FBI, the New York Police Department, and many other institutions, both civilian and military, who were concerned about what Hillary and her friends were doing. That coup. Now, one thing I would say, if they're doing this, and this is really real, which I do, by the way, I do believe the coup is real. The question is, was Julian Assange really involved in it? I don't agree with that. And as the, the, the intel people that we have that contacted me said that it is a PSYOP. Now, what I am starting to see, and you're going to see it in what he's going to say here in just a moment here, the coup, they're really not doing this for Donald Trump. So, in the case of Donald Trump, which I still believe this is still a whole New World Order agenda that they're planning for the America, and I'm really concerned that what might happen in the next coming days as the election gets near here is going to be a total disaster. And this may be where martial law comes into play, and Obama plays that card as well. So I'm very concerned about it, but still watch what Steve Pachinik has to say here. And then, I might, then you might realize what the soft coup's intention really was. So so you're right. He may be involved in this. They may be in the intelligence community may be involved in a soft coup, but it's not for Hillary Clinton, and it's definitely not for Donald Trump. Watch what he says. Who came out not through bullets or guns or tanks or soldiers? It came out through the egress of countless numbers of emails, literally in the thousands, that were exposed by many of our friends in the government who were concerned about the nature of the republic and what was happening to it. As Sounds a good, though. And her cohorts were corrupting our system. Yep, because she is, is corrupt, no doubt. Important because I want now, all right, before I, I'm sorry, Steve, don't mean to interrupt you, but, you know, as far as when it comes to Hillary Clinton, yes, it's corrupt, but yet James Comey is sitting there saying that, or, Kumi, I can't think of his first name right now, but you know, director of the FBI is sitting there saying that there is no wrongdoing. So what part is Steve Pachinik working with? That's what's weird. Remember, he is a doctor of psychology, and I think you're going to find the bombshell in just a second. Watch what he says. I want you to think very carefully about the state of the republic. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean is that in the past, we have had interruptions that were either initiated within the government or occurred because of other reasons. Let me give you an example. When I worked with Nixon and the Nixon administration, we initiated what was called a soft coup. Basically, Nixon was incapacitated, both physically and mentally, and we thank Henry Kissinger, who was Secretary of State, and literally held the country together and gave us a posture in the world which allowed us to state and literally held what was called a soft coup. Basically, Nixon was incapacitated. Listen close, I backed it up. And we thank Henry Kissinger, who's Secretary of State. Henry and Kissinger, his good old buddy, the, the New World Order designer. In the world, which allowed us to maintain our supremacy. Under the Reagan administration. Kissinger must be at it again. Shot uh, George Bush, the vice president, senior, took over, and with George Bush senior and Baker, we were able to maintain the 
continuity of the republic. And what I'm talking to you about now is the importance for all of us to think very seriously about the institutions that we have, the institutions that we don't particularly like and want to take over. But at the same time, we have to be very careful that we do not rip apart the fabric of this republic. And what do I mean by that? I mean that we don't need guns, we don't need violence. We need I agree with him on that. Responsible protest, as we have seen on behalf of the people who work with Trump, believe in Trump, and others who are independents, who believe in Here Bernie Sanders, and who wanted Bernie Sanders to come in. That's a natural sequence for the republic. Bernie and Sanders. It's an important element of dissent within our republic. If we were to go out and agitate and create havoc in the streets, we it's going to go back to Bernie Sanders again. Watch. Why? Because the world would look at us and say, "Look, we're no better than the third-rate republic like Panama or Venezuela." In effect, what's happening is because of the bravery of many men and women in the FBI, the CIA. Defense Intelligence Agency, the National Security Agency, and many others within the 15 intelligence bureaus. They've come forth and they've said, we want to maintain the integrity of the Republic and we will do that in a peaceful way. I share that point of view. When I say that there's a coup, I do not mean that you kill people or you go out and you create agitation, propaganda, and fire in the streets and, and disrupt the everyday work life of America. What I mean by that is that we have been able through the internet to disrupt any activities which are not beneficial to the Republic. Who determines that? Pretty much you do, the American public. And when the American public was disturbed by what they heard and saw. A couple of things here that concern me. He said, we're the ones. We're basically the, the, the ones that create the problem over Hillary Clinton, although we're not the ones that leaked all these emails. Uh, I'm wondering, too, if this is not a plan to be able to shut the Internet down. Have you ever thought about that? Definitely they already outsourced it to someone else. So could that be what they're planning? And uh, now I do agree with him about, you know, this whole idea of, you know, protesting not being violent. That's the way it should be to begin with, because you're not going to solve anything with violence. That's one thing. But watch this issue about Bernie Sanders. You're going to find out that they back Bernie Sanders. And today, the Pope of Rome once again eludes to the American election by saying he's not for the guys that build walls. I'm wondering if they're not going to either allow Hillary to continue to run, or they're going to end up deal with it afterwards or they're going to create a there's going to be some kind of false flag issue in america they're going to bring about martial law or are they going to put bernie sanders in her place i'm waiting to see let's see how it goes here watch what he says with regards to hillary and bill clinton and podesta and uma abedin they reacted appropriately i want to thank the trump family for having come forth and offered their services to this country they didn't have to they were, a, they were not a political family. They were a business family, a lovely family of entrepreneurs who took the time and effort and the risk to present their father in the forefront and who took a lot of abuses. Clearly, he's not a saint, but at the same time, he's not a sinner. He is someone who expresses the voice of discontent in our republic. And at the same time, it is. there was Bernie Sanders who expressed that discontent. For whatever reason, he decided to bow out of the race. It's unfortunate from my point of view because I had a lot of respect for him. I saw him give a speech in Warner, New Hampshire, and I really admired what he had done. And on both ends, with Bernie Sanders and Trump, we had a very effective dissent in this modern age in the 21st century. But remember, Corruption will be part of any hierarchical system. No. Well, what do you know? Is that what the soft coup is really all about? Maybe that's why Assange didn't really align himself with Steve Pachenik. 
And maybe there is a soft coup going on. Maybe they are trying to move, remove Hillary Clinton from power. But those different agencies that Steve Pachinik is speaking about are not necessarily on Donald Trump's side. It looks like they're trying to put Bernie Sanders maybe back in the saddle. I don't know if that's going to happen only one or two days here into this election here. Uh, clearly, I have no idea what's going to happen, especially with the FBI coming out again and saying there is no criminal criminality in there. What is really going on? I mean, this has gotten completely insane what's going on in America. And I'm just, I'm concerned for the American people. I'm concerned about what's going on. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I'm going to, We'll, we'll, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. I'm fixing to do another video as well, by the way, in just a few moments here, because my wife, when she did the video, uh, she loaded it for her channel earlier, but I was really, I wanted her video to be on this, on our broadcast as well. Uh, Yana, as you know, speaks many times here on Israeli News Live, does live reporting out in the field, etc. cetera. Um, but she didn't want me to put it there, but I felt like the information she was bringing was critical. And then I see a lot of people kind of start to beat up on her, you know, over, oh, the video that Assange did is a week old or whatever the case may be. The point is, is they contradicted one another in what they're saying. And if you look at what Steve Pachinik is saying here, believe me, the soft coup didn't just start four days ago or five days ago. So no, Julian Assange should have very well clearly knew that there was a soft coup going on and he should have at least had the ability to say that there's more people in the background besides the uh, the religious uh, uh, the religious side there that is backing him and that's what Yana picked up on and I thought it was a cr incredible uh, thing that she picked up on uh, but anyway I'm fixing to do another uh, video here in just a moment here addressing a particular comment that was made directly at my wife which I really took offense to uh, because of a, of a man that wrote on there that you know making this statement that, uh, you know, I didn't want to hear your voice. I'm expecting to hear Steve's voice. She is part of this team here. And I figure if you're going to say it publicly, then I'm going to address it publicly as well, because I, I do sense a bit of women or less from the comment that was made. And I'd like to clarify some things on this, but I'll do it on a separate video here. That way, those that would like to tune in that can, I know that women will be blessed by it. Uh, so if you want to tune in, my sisters, and for men, I'd encourage you to tune in on this next video as well, because it'll be a blessing for you as well to really know where God puts women when it comes to his word. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.